Well, Slauncha, and how do you do, Buckaroos? Here's one a friend brought back for me from uh, Oklahoma City. I think he, I think it was in Tulsa, actually, but nevertheless, this brewery's from Oklahoma City. Um, brewed by Rough Tail Brewing, uh, Oklahoma City. Everything rhymes with orange IPA. One pint, three point two ounce, so it's an imperial pint. Try to find an ABV on it, but I'm not seeing it here. Hazy, juicy, aromatic, rough tail. Yeah, I'm not seeing an ABV listed on the can. Let me see if I can look it up real quick. I thought it would be on the can, but it is not. Let me see if I can figure it out. Load up, load up, load up. Those are the rubber bullets when I started. Now I got that song stuck in my head. Bear with me. I'm trying to find this particular IPA. Everything rhymes with orange. A little orange. Huh. Nope, that's not what I wanted to hit. Oh, there we go. A 6.8%. 6.8%. All right. Using my SBC mug, because I wanted a mug big enough to hold the whole 19.2. Here we are. Anyways, uh, Slanche, you do buckaroos. It does look like orange juice, do it not? By golly, smells like juice. <laughs> so it's got that juice aromatics going on. A lot of zest on the nose, maybe the slightest hint of pine as well. Load up, load up. Uh, yeah, it ain't bad. That's nice. Uh, yeah, a friend brought this back for me and figured, uh, and I kind of forgot about it. Well, let's go ahead and drink that one now. That is nice, man. I'm not the biggest fan of the style. I'm on record as saying so, so I'm not going to walk it back. But this one is done. It seems like it's done pretty well. I'm just not the biggest fan of my beer tasting like juice. I'm an old school guy. I want an old school beer. <laughs> However, having said that, I, I do feel like this one is done well. Uh, again, it is, it is what it, uh, it says it is. Everything rhymes with orange IPA. Hazy, juicy, and aromatic. It is all of those things. So it is, it comes as advertised. And that's all you can say about a beer. Um, I don't like so called beer reviewers that will say they don't like a beer or a beer is bad because they're not crazy about the style. Just because you're not crazy about the style doesn't make it a bad beer. Is it flawed? Is there something wrong with it? There is absolutely nothing wrong with this beer. If this is a style you like, there is no reason why you're not going to like this one. It's done well. It gives you those big fruit flavors that you're looking for, those big juice flavors. Predominantly orange, but you might find some grapefruit notes in there as well. You might even find some stone fruit or some tropical fruit notes. I feel like I'm picking up some stone fruit in the middle there. But it is predominantly orange, but you might find some others, uh, other notes that's really between you and your taster, to be honest with you. As I, I've said, you're not going to taste what you don't know, right? If you've never had certain things, you're not going to taste them that way. So I, I, nobody is ever wrong. What you get is what you get. And this one certainly does that style justice, and that's all you can say about it. But yes, it, it is as advertised. It does everything it says it's going to do. Uh, 
it is very good. Uh, it's, it's really good, actually. Uh, anyways, uh, anyway, anyways, I digress. Uh, wow. Trying to relax. Take it easy. Take a load off. Uh, we have a rather dreary day at the Ozarks. Decided not to get out and do anything today. We're just going to stay in the house and not put any clothes on. But then I start thinking, well, it is a dreary day in the Ozarks, but it's not that cold. It's been raining and we had some freeze, so might be able to get out of here and be bug free. And by damn, <laughs> by golly, baby, yeah, you know, no flies, no skeeters. It's rainy, it's damp, but it's not all that cold. <laughs> and so if I put a shirt on, <laughs> threw some sweats on, yeah, man, it ain't so bad. Sit in my bar area, relax, take her easy, take a load off, baby. So it's my Dog Master sticker back there. Uh, they were a distillery out of Columbia. Unfortunately, they closed. I was really sad to see them go. They were very good. And some nice products. There's some good folks that own the place too, and I really hated to see the small guys go down, man. But the big guys make it hard to operate. They do. They make it hard to distribute your product. It's hard to get a distributor. It's hard to. Uh... The big guys are taking up all that shelf space. They've got those distributors that will give you this, that, and the other. So uh, they make it difficult for stores to want to carry your product. Uh, and distribution is tough, you know, so and it's sad to see small ones go down. Like I said, I really like Dogmaster. They had some really good stuff, man. I met the owners a few years ago. I think it was 20, 21, must have been 21, because we were going to, we we're planning on going up there in 20, and then, you know, shit happened. <laughs> the following year was 2021. Uh, we went up there. But I think they closed at the beginning of this year. Yeah, the folks were so nice up there. Uh, cocktails were great. I, I loved everything about them, unfortunately. Uh, sometimes things happen. Man. It, 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 laws aren't conducive uh, to small breweries and distilleries. They, they favor the bigger guys. So it is tough for the little guys to survive. And that's That's intentional. And that's too damn bad because it's the little guys, in my opinion, that are putting the best products out there. Unfortunately, you've got some unscrupulous folks out there that want to propagate those big names. They've bought up a certain amount of product. So they're trying to convince you a $25 bottle of bourbon is now worth $100 because it's allocated. Because you've got these secondary market guys forcing these allocations telling you, hey, if you're going to get into bourbon, you've got to buy this product. And the truth is, you don't. I like to take every guy, every person getting into whiskey for the first time, take them on a small distillery tour first before they've tried any of that big stuff. Try these first. Buy these products first. Now try those. Now, if you honestly think those products are better, go back to them. But I don't think you're going to. If, if, if you go to these small distilleries first and try their products, I, I think you're going to like them more. I know I do. I was, I was proud of the fact that on our vacation, I came back with an awful lot of product. I did. Uh, but every one of them was small. Every, everything I brought home, every whiskey bottle I brought home was small distillery product. And I was very excited about that. Over, you know, I don't typically pat myself on the back, but yeah, man, uh, give these, it, it, it wasn't necessarily intentional. It's just how it ended up because I was trying to visit these distilleries. And I, I, did, I don't want to buy names I know when I'm on vacation. I can buy them here. You know? <laughs> I'm not looking for the names everybody knows. I'm looking for something different. I want to be wowed, man. And I was, actually, by several distilleries. Ugh. The last one I hit, I found by accident in Sparta, Kentucky, the Neely Family Distillery. Those folks are putting out products like you would not believe.
Anyways, I kind of got off topic there, because this video was supposed to be for this beer, but you know how my mind wanders. I saw that dog master, so let me get back to focus here. Rough tail Brian, focus, top! Another reason I never want to refer to myself as a reviewer, because I really don't. I, you know, I talk about a lot of things during a video. Uh, everything rhymes with orange IPA. Thank you, Levi, for bringing this to me. Uh, website says it's 6.8%. It's a very well done hazy juicy ipa it is as advertised if this is a style you like there is no reason why you wouldn't like this one it does everything it says it's going to do it is rather aromatic which is awesome i love that <laughs> now that now the outside is coming to me <laughs> it is rather aromatic just like it says Big juicy flavors and aromas. It it does everything it says it's going to do, and it does it very well. There is absolutely nothing wrong with this beer. I am Tom the Beer Whisperer, Beer Evangelist. Uh, man, it is good. One thing I will tell you real quick uh, before I finish my my my, my shtick there is is. Uh, the finish, a lot of the reasons why I'm not super crazy about hazies is a lot of them will have this chalkiness at the end, or, or they will finish rather sweet. This one comes together very well. I don't get that chalky or waxy residue like many of them leave behind. But it also finishes drier than most of the style, and that I like a lot. So there you go. Anyway, one more time with feeling. Tom the Beer Whisperer, Beer Fans, just pull the Beer Drinker, Prayer was a man. All around good guys, lunch you.